Okay, we've had a few questions recently on the use of fluid mask. I thought I'd cover that today. For those of you who don't know, fluid mask is already included with the ProRip. So if you have ProRip, you have fluid mask already. It's pre-installed and ready to be used. There's nothing you need to purchase extra to use it. Um, we're going to just drag an image in. This is just a portrait, simple um, sample that I found online. And you're going to size it so it fits within your page. You'll notice that you can clearly see the white background here. And, and you'll see I, I made my background blue in ProRip just to make it easier to see um, where there's a background and where there's not. Um, when you're ready, you just click Edit with Fluid Mask. It'll already load up in the background. There you go. You'll get this red cursor. Wherever you don't want a background, you're just going to click just like this. Click and drag. That's all there is to it. I mean, it's so simple. File and click Save and Apply. It'll bring it back into ProRip this time without the background. So give it a second to process. You'll see the little clock here telling you that it's working. And there it is. Came in without the background. In this case, I'm going to crop it a little bit and get a little better use of my, uh, my page. All right. Click Create. And then you can just click Fit the Page and Center. And we are good to go, ready to print without a background.